Hello, my name is Lori Gorder, a nurse practitioner with MultiCare Centers of Occupational Medicine. I've been performing DOT exams over the past 12 years. Today, I'd like to speak with you about how best to prepare for your next DOT physical and what to bring. Some things may have changed since your last DOT physical. As of May 21st, 2014, exams are completed by a nationally registered provider like myself, being held to more stringent requirements per FMCSA and using best practice guidelines. Upon completion of your exam, you will be entered into the national registry for a maximum of two years. Here are a few things to remember. If you wear prescription glasses, contacts, or a hearing aid, bring them with you. You should also carry a spare pair in your truck at all times. Bring a list of current medications with dosage as well as the name and contact information of the provider who prescribed the medication. Upon completion of your health history portion of the long form, do your best to explain any current or previous medical conditions along with dates. Be as accurate as possible as it is fraudulent to intentionally falsify information. Be prepared to supply medical records or compliance data from your primary provider for conditions such as heart disease, diabetes, neurological conditions, or sleep apnea. A review of any diagnostic studies you have had in the past may require a new test, such as an exercise stress test or an echocardiogram after heart attack. Sleep apnea is common and we will screen accordingly. If you take certain medications for pain, mental illness, or ADD, we'll require a letter from your treating provider. Please limit your smoking, sweets, and caffeine prior to your exam to avoid raising your blood pressure and blood sugar. And finally, try to relax. Our examiners want you to be successful in passing your DOT exam and are here to help in any way we can.